Hello, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Talking to my air signs. Hello and welcome. <clears throat> Come on in. Grab your coffee. Uh, I'm going to do a brief reading for the air signs. Who is after air signs? I don't know if we're doing fire next. But it's Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius right now. <clears throat> See what's happening for you guys. What's happening uh, in your immediate world. Alright, let's see here. I took a couple off the bottom of the deck. You're allowed to do that in tarot. Don't try it in blackjack. <laughs> nope, doesn't work that way. Alright, air signs. Here we are with the nine of swords. Um, absolutely air right here. Yeah, you're, you're stuck up in your head about something. And you're needing to let that go so you can work past it. There's a lot of a lot of good energy here. Um, but you're going to need to let something go. Um, you've been having some sleepless nights. It's keeping you awake. You've been holding back. You haven't been too social either um, because of this. Bam, wham, bam. This death card is absolutely just about the complete transformation you're making. You don't want to go down the same road that you have gone down before. It's as though you've taken a brand new lease on life. This, I, I love the death card. Um, it is my favorite card of the deck. You know, I used to make the analogy about it being very similar to a, um, a catastrophic uh, wildfire. You know, everything's dark and black, all charred. Um, it looks like it's just all over until the first rain and then the first little seed sprouts. Um, we also have the Emperor card. You know, he was in reverse. There was a real reversal of power in this connection um you know at one point maybe the other person was kind of in charge and you know maybe wore the pants of the the family or the situation and then somewhere along the line that changed um you kind of gave up your power yeah 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 <clears throat> we've got the high priestess and you kind of knew from the very get-go that this was going to work. Tried it anyway, though, right? <clears throat> yeah, we all did. At some point or another, we all tried. But you hadn't healed from the prior incident. Can't move forward until you heal. Do not get in another connection until you heal. Do not. Get yourself stable on your own before you move into a new connection. I don't care if you've been split up for a couple of years even. If you haven't healed, if you haven't grown, if you haven't let go, if you haven't granted forgiveness to the other parties, whoever they may be, you're never going to grant forgiveness to yourself. That's why we got the king of uh, pinnacles upside down here. You're being a little too hard on you. It's okay to let it go. This arrangement was not going to work. Um, air signs, this just... It just wasn't going to work. But you hung on there because you didn't think you were worthy... That he thinks he knows he's worthy. He's a king. But you did not. I don't know. Maybe they're not in my league. Maybe they're <clears throat> going to leave me. Maybe, maybe, maybe. 
with the Queen of Wands. Now the Queen, she's pretty confident, but I'm going to tell you, she'll take a, that wand and just reach out and crack you right over the head with it. Like, what do you mean you're not worthy? Bam. Okay? And sometimes we all need that uh, to be awakened. And somebody remind us that we are worthy. Um, that we don't have to stay in old, stale relationships that aren't aren't good. Um, that we are worthy of much better. Because there you have it. Ten of Cups. You're holding back your own happy ending. You're so afraid to um, let that old connection go that you're holding back your own happy ending here. All right. <clears throat> Grabbing another deck. Let's see what a second deck says. If we get any um, validating cards, and duplicate energies, or something brand new. Hello back there, Spirit on Light. It does not seem to work much anymore for um, tarot. However, um, when I am doing readings for clients who have um, loved ones on the other side, those spirits come in, they take control of that light, and they carry on a conversation with their families and their loved ones. So if it doesn't work for tarot, that's fine. I know that they have more important things to do. Alrighty. Yeah, Hermit card in reverse. Yeah, it was your biggest fear. I don't want to be alone. Oh, what was me? I have to have somebody in my life. I need support. No, you don't. No, you don't. You're stronger than that. Dude, the Hermit goes, climbs the mountain, goes into that cave, and just doesn't pout and cry in there. The Hermit enlightens themselves. They educate, they read, they study the universe. They pull their shit together before they come back out. Here's that healing I was talking about. You're going to get it. You'll, you'll get it. You'll pull it together. You'll. It, it takes time. It's not easy. And, you know, sometimes I do come off with a, a, um, a kick in the pants kind of approach. You know, tough love. Don't be a victim. Don't be a victim. Pull yourself up out of it. You can do it. This is a card about healing. It came up right side up too. You're going to do this. You've got to let go of what's not serving you. Could be friends. Could be family. Could be work. Could be your own personal attitudes about things. Your own personal way that you're looking at things, air signs, um, is what's holding you back. Go ahead and let that go. It's no longer serving you. Now we've got a validating card. <clears throat> Ten of Cups. You're holding back your happy ending. It's there. It's coming. You're just holding it back a little bit. All right, there you have it, air signs. Just know that that happy ending's coming. Um, once you work through these issues, once you accomplish what you want to accomplish, that stuff's going to happen for you. All right, you guys. Um, let's see. Yeah, uh, I'm going to wrap it up right now. And, you know, I never leave you. I'll bless you with love and light. See you guys soon.